Hi, I'm Josh with Park Industries Technical Support. Today we're going to have a video here on showing you how to swap your water union out of a Titan 2000 series or 3000 series. So on your water feed, you want to start on this side. This top line, the larger line, is your water feed line going to the spindle or water union. The bottom line is your drain line. If you have water flowing out of this bottom line, your seals are bad in your water union and you need to replace that water union before it does more damage to the machine. To get the water lines off, they are Kamazi fittings, so just push the end of the fitting in and then pull the line out and set it to the side. Now you want to take your two water fittings off. They do have Allen wrench holes in the inside or you can use a deep weld socket on the outside. Once you have your water fittings off, then we can move to the other side of the spindle and start disassembling to take the water union out. Once you're on the other side, we want to remove the anti-rotation bracket. Once you have the anti-rotation bracket removed, we can start by removing the air cylinder. We want to start by disconnecting our air line from the back. Make sure your air is shut off. And same Kamazi fittings, just push in the end of the fitting and then pull the line off. Once you have your air cylinder lines removed, we can remove the four bolts on the air cylinder, two bolts on each side holding it down. Once you have the four bolts removed for your air cylinder, we can just lift up on the air cylinder and pull the air cylinder up and out. Make sure you watch out for your spindle motor cables. And we can just set that to the side. Once you have your air cylinder and everything off, you want to find your drawbar wrench that was supplied with the machine and a 15 16 wrench. Right underneath your um, sensor here, there is a lip that you can slide your drawbar wrench in. Just spin the spindle if it is not lining up and you can get that on there. Turn that all the way to your left as you face it. And then you can take your 15 16 on your water union, and it is reverse threads, so you want to turn to your left or right to loosen it up. Once you get that broke loose, you should be able to just hold your spindle straight and turn your water union. Oh, and your water union will come out. To tell if your water union is bad, usually you can just spin the bottom nut and you will feel a bunch of grinding or anything like that, that your bearings are bad inside your water union. When, re when putting in your water union, make sure you apply anti-seize to the threads of the water union. We'll thread our water union in, keeping in mind it is reverse threads. So you are turning left hand to tighten the water union onto the draw bar. Okay, once you have your water union snug down by hand, um, looks like your gap is starting to fill up there. You may see a little gap yet. Then you wanna torque that down. So we're gonna take our spindle wrench Put our spindle wrench on our draw bar. And then I'm gonna utilize the machine and just kind of hold that tight to there. And then we're gonna to torque down our, um, our water union here. So I'm gonna use a torque wrench with a crow's foot on it. Torque wrench is gonna be set to 25 foot pounds and torque that down to the 25 foot pounds with the crow's foot and it will be a 
15 16 crow's foot you'll need for that. Take our wrenches back out. And now we are going to want to check run out. Now our dial is set up already, but we're just going to magnet to our frame of our machine. Have our dial indicator just pushing on the side of the water union there. We're going to make note we're on number four there for the small dial. And then we will just turn the outside, set that to zero. Now I'm gonna reach down in here and I'm just gonna put my finger in the, in the water inlet hole of the water union. And I'm gonna reach down to the bottom of the spindle and I'm gonna spin the tool making this entire spindle turn. And I'm just trying to hold that water union still without putting pressure on it. So double check that, read your numbers. Three thousandths is our tolerance. If you are reading over three thou, double check to make sure that the water union where it mates with the drawbar is seated down tight. You're not seeing gaps there. That'll be probably the most common. If it is, remove that water union back out. Make sure your threads are all nice and clean. That O-ring is seated correctly and uh, try threading it back down in there. If it's threaded all the way down and you do have over 3000 on your, um, reading on your dial indicator there, please give our customer service department a call and we'll be glad to help you through that. Now we will take our air cylinder. Slide that back in. And put our four bolts back in for the air cylinder. We want to tighten our four bolts down evenly and also Line our air cylinder up so you can see the white frame line evenly on the front side of the air cylinder. Once you have the four bolts in for the air cylinder, we can install our anti-rotation bracket. Once your anti-rotation bracket is installed, we can go back to the other side of the spindle and finish installing the rest of the components. Okay, once you're on this side of the machine, we can connect our air lines to our air cylinder. Just push the air lines in, you'll feel them bottom out. And then we can put our fittings back in for our water union. Remember, the smaller fitting goes on the bottom, larger on the top. Make sure your fittings are nice and snug so they do not leak. Then we can connect our lines. The bottom drain line, the smaller line. If you do have a VEM greasable water union, you will not have the bottom drain line. Um, it will just have ports going around it. Also, if you guys do remove the drawbar sensor, um, you do not need to remove it, but if you do remove it, then make sure that you put it in properly. Um, the wire goes on the top with the green light towards the bottom. And make sure that it's seated, it's seated nice and flat on the frame, and the, if you remove the black block, that the black block has a lip that will seat tight to the edge of the frame there. Then we can just reinstall our cover and we can start running production again. Thank you.